In this video I'm going to show you how to create translucent borders using the background clip property. This property determines the area covered by an element's background. By default, browsers always draw the background behind an element's borders. As a result, a translucent border always picks up the element's own background and not the background of a parent element. So if you wanted this colourful background image to show through the borders of this content div, simply using alpha transparency on the border colour is not enough. To illustrate the problem, I've given the content div a solid white background. See here. Although I've used RGBA, the alpha transparency is set to 1. In other words, it's fully opaque. The border, on the other hand, has alpha transparency of 0.5. In other words, it's semi-transparent. So if I click on Live View, you'll see what the problem is. The dark red turns to pink, but none of the page's background image shows through. The answer to this problem is to use the background clip property. Dreamweaver's code hints suggest border box and padding box. Now border box is the default way that browsers draw backgrounds, so that's of no use. The only one of interest is padding box. So let's just add that and refresh live view and you can see that the borders are now translucent. The reason for that is that the background colour is now being painted within the padding box. That can be confusing because the padding in this particular div is 15 pixels all around. So you might expect the transparency to go all around the padding as well, but the padding box is not where the text inside the div begins, but it's the point from which the padding is calculated. Put simply, it's the inside edge of the border, and that's exactly what you want. All modern browsers support the background clip property, but to keep Firefox 3.6 happy, you need to add the Moz vendor specific prefix. So I'll just copy that and paste it and add the hyphen Moz prefix, and Firefox 3.6 is kept happy. And to make it look a little bit nicer, we'll increase the transparency of the background colour. Make it 0 0.8. So now you've got the background coming through both the div itself and through its borders. And that's all there is to the border clip property. It might not be the most stunning aspect of CSS, but it gives you another tool to refine your web page designs.